guys we're going to boxing block center the home of nigerian african boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button and also go to the notification bell icon click it and select all not to a new banger a new exclusive you definitely be notified well news broke out recently um that the WBC would approve Lawrence Okole versus Deontay Wilder for the Bridge Away title. Basically, Okole is WBC's um, Bridge Away champ. So, the WBC would approve Wilder fighting Okole for that title and Okole defending against Wilder. Um, former WBC every champion. Deontay Wilder sure looked all done in his last fight, or actually in his previous two fights, according to Boxing News 24-7. Um, when he was widely appointed by Joseph Parker and then crushed in the fifth round by Jilei Jang, and plenty of fans, most of them would like to see the once wickedly powerful bronze member call time and retire from the spa. Though he has not officially announced anything, Water perhaps has already made his mind up. However, Water has a possible lifeline should he wish to continue. And as crazy as it, as it, as it may seem, Water could work straight into another war title fight at Bridgewood, nearly crowned WBC Federal Champion. Where Zocoli has said he would be interested in defending his bet against Water. And now WBC President Marcel Suleiman has noted that the WBC will approve Abir Okoli and Water. Mario Suleiman said, I, yeah, I quote, I'm sure that if Wilder wished to fight versus the Bridge champion, DWBC will approve, but we have not yet received anything from our dear Yonto Wilder, the champ. Mm. Suleiman wrote on social media. Suleiman loves Wilder, though. I have to say that. I don't know why, but there's just this love, this unconditional love he has for Wilder. He allowed Wada to be a champion for a long time, you know? Keep that belt and fight the, the fighters he fought. But this would really be an intriguing fight because it's basically the same people fighting each other. Whereas Akoli is known for that right hand that he had. Of course, his style might not be as exciting as Wada's because Lawrence Akoli has been accused by a boxing fan, a lot of boxing fans hugging and stuff like that water the other hand was an animal you know he was like a beast he went in there to knock you out but both guys have similar right hands water one is definitely more powerful because he's knocked out bigger guys you know with it but he's not long he's no longer the same water i mean judging from the two last fights right that would be my only my only worry, like, when it goes to Okoli, a hungry lion, having them to one his resume will be, will be huge. But that would be an interesting 50 to fight, in my opinion. But, like I said, it all depends on what one decides to do. Water is yet to, to call it quit. And if Water fights Okoli, how much do you think he, he will make, for example? So, Jack, but let's see your take on this possible, the possible, possible fight between both guys. I believe a lot of water fans will welcome it because water is, is naturally or uh, na water could water is naturally cruising with busy, right? He, this guy is like really, really not. He's not a huge. He's a huge heavyweight for the height. You know, his 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 his, his height is is he has long hands, but the weight, the weight is not like he's a small heavyweight busy. And he's been basically punching above his weight that you have to really give him credit for knocking the guys he knocked out. Like we can say, yeah, I love them. We're a low level opposition. But let's keep it right here. Chris Ariola, for example, after being stopped by water many years ago, came back from retirement, fought at Virginia and job Virginia. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's like your take on this, bro. Hmm. Listen, uh, Wilder 
should have um, gotten rid of. I, Wilder should have kept Mark Breland. I think there was too many talks in his ear. I think at this point in his career, in the stage, I just believe his current trainer right now should. Malik Scott should not have been his current trainer because there's no way. There's absolutely no way you put, you go you go from at least being a decent guy to throw, to be able to throw a jab to a guy who can't throw a jab. I just couldn't believe Wilder did not implement one decent jab against Zane, bro. I couldn't believe it, right? Wilder has a lot going on. I don't know if he's being distracted. Let's be honest, man. If that guy's being distracted, they didn't do, they're not doing him justice to where they want to put his career. Wilder has a new girlfriend, as much as we can see, you know, hand in hand, all of that. And it sucks to say at this point, like seeing him that way, it, it, it makes me think like, what happened? Maybe all those those, those issues is what caused them not to be able to concentrate against this fight with Zane. But having all those issues, I would say, has led him astray away from boxing. Because the way he looked against Zane, I thought he was ready. In those videos, I just I just thought he was ready. You know, I'm like, there's no way Wilder, there was no way he was gonna lose to Zang. You know, there was no way. I just couldn't I just couldn't take believe it. I didn't want to hear it. I believe Wilder was better fighter, was quicker. I just believed it. And I just started to like Wilder, so I believed in him. But seeing what he did to Zang, what he was able to do to Zang makes me believe when he goes against Ron Sakodi. At this point in Lawrence Sakoli's career, somebody who at least knows how to throw a decent jab, who could put decent combinations together, will trouble Wilder excessively. You know, if if Lawrence Sakoli feels Wilder's right hand and it feels like there's nothing to it, Lawrence Sakoli is going to knock out Wilder. If Wilder goes in there with Malik Scott, right? That's my she problem, fights. bro. My least cut is really my problem because that guy, I don't know. Yeah, continue. I do. Yeah, I, do. I believe it. So, I believe people got into his ear with Mark Breland, saying Mark Breland wasn't is not the guy. He should fire him. While they're listening to them, while they listen to all the, the those stories, spiked water Mark Breland had in there. Why did Mark Breland stop the fight? Hey man, your trainer cares about you. You have to let him. You know, you gotta let him do what's best for you. Okay, you have to do, let them do what's best for you because they know. At the end of the day, if Wilder's listening to this, at the end of the day, that individual knows you. When it comes to fighting, that's why you chose him to to be your trainer. That individual knows you better than you know yourself when it comes to fighting. He knows what you could do. He knows how you act, how you react. At the end of the day, he knows you more. But for you to listen to everybody else, Mark Breeding this with Tyson this, Mark Breeding this with with the ref, Mark Breeding this with this and that, and you decided to listen to all that, and you fire him? Come on. But now look at what Malik Scott has done. You. Malik Scott, the great white hype, gotten you this far. Has not, has not shown us that, yeah, he could, you could do something. He, 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 has, he has not shown us he's, he's qualified to be somebody of your caliber's trainer, right? But now you're going to be, he, we're, we're unsure where you're going to go from here. Your weight, you came in, you, your weight has been up and down instead of a steady weight where you're walking around in 230, you know, if, if if your if your career was much as was was really important to you, he would have literally, literally just been like, "Hey, let me get a nutritionist. I got to make sure I'm walking around 2:30. Let me do this and that to implement, make sure I'm okay." 
But for you not to be able to do that just shows that people around your corner are not are not the ones for you. But now you're gonna be fighting somebody else. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I hope you make the right choice. As much as as much as much as I want you to win, I hope you make the right choice. Or whether it be whether it be making the right career move, deciding I think this is it. Let's 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 be over with. I think your career should have been ended in heavyweight. You should not move down. It should be ended in heavyweight. But you never know. Things change. A lot of these great fighters moved up and down. <clears throat> you know, Holyfield. You know, a lot of these great guys moved up and down. So let's see where you're at. If you decide, hey, man, go for it. Let's see what you could do. But at the end of the day, just be careful. That's what I don't think it. it's about them because he's, he's naturally a cruiserweight busy. So I don't think he's moving up or down. I think he's been punching up both his way, bro. If we should look at it. You know? Let's keep it ring. You get me? So, guys. You heard it from our brother, uh, Jack Bay? Stay tuned for more exclusive bangers right here. From this, this channel. We'll be right back. More to come.